All right, we are now being joined by Carl Albrechtson. Once again, we'll begin with a few questions here in the room. Yeah, Carl, you uh, had a last moment, minute, minute opponent switch. I was just curious what that did to you in training camp, if that affected you at all. Uh, no, you have to be prepared for anything in this sport. You know, anything can happen in a real short notice. And uh, this is not my first rodeo, so shit happens. And now I got a tougher opponent and more dangerous, I think. So got to be on my toes. Did you see his, your opponent's bout uh, in his Bellator debut? Did you happen to see it? Did you watch any film on him? I've seen it, yes. What did you, he, he, there was, he was relatively unknown before he came in, so what did you make of his performance? Well, he's very experienced and he's still dangerous. Maybe it was not his best performance. He shows areas where maybe he's a little bit lacking in the technique, but uh, overall he's still a dangerous fighter and a very strong fighter. Uh, are, now, now, being that you're not in the Grand Prix, um, are you just kind of sitting back, taking care of what you can control, and seeing how the Grand Prix plays out? Or do you do you hope? Is there a certain fighter you hope comes out of it with the belts? Like, what what do you hope comes of the Grand Prix? Well, I focus on what I can control, and uh, I need to focus on this fight 100%. So, uh, the the best man will win the Grand Prix. Uh, it's that's as simple as that. Who do you think wins between Nemkov and Anglicus, being that you were supposed to fight Julius Anglicus? I think Nemkov will win. You beat Victor Nemkov. Yes. Would it, be, would it be mean anything to you to have beaten both Victor and Vadim Nemkov on your record? I have beaten both. There you go. And Carl, have you had a chance to kind of walk around downtown? This is the first Bellator fight in, in the Phoenix area in quite some time. Uh, seems like the energy's way up here. Have you noticed? No, we're not allowed to leave the hotel. So I walked around the premises, the city. What I see it looks nice, but yeah, I'm kind of stuck here in the hotel. Great. Now uh, you, you've won three straight, obviously. Uh, you're the number 10 ranked light heavyweight in Bellator's division. Uh, does that mean anything to you? Can you explain exactly what it means to keep climbing those ranks? Well, it's a good measurement to know where I stand. And uh, I need to work my way the ladder up to get to the title. And I need to secure wins and I need to finish fights. So that's always what I take from the rankings. OK, and we'll take a couple questions from our media joining us virtually today. Dylan, go ahead. Hey there, Carl. I appreciate you making some time. Thank you. I'm just curious because when we were speaking prior to this fight here and you were addressing the Viktor Nemkov fight, you were saying that your you know, little brother not being able to get there and be in your corner kind of affected the performance in a certain regard. I'm curious, is your brother going to be cornering you for this one? And how do you expect to, it to inform the performance there? Yes, he's here uh, at the hotel and I think uh, it was only help. It was going to help my performance, I feel very relaxed this fight week and I feel very secure. So it feels like I have a good vibe going on. Thanks so much for the insights, man. Thank you. All right, Carl, thank you very much for the time and good luck on Saturday. Thank you.